Driving it, I see the spit on the windshield. Sticks from the jungle and shit when I'm in. Craving these shoes, what when I get them? Money don't really inside me. I've been here. Place so pretty, I went in with no condom. PTSD got my hand on the chopper. I made a friend when I went to the doctor. One nigga play with this shit, I'm a pop. Pull up. Carrot will pop it too, cat. I ain't get shit, boy. Supreme Katie, hey, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, join the family. If you rock with me, I need you to hit that motherfucking bell, nigga. Hey, man, off the rip. I ain't even finna talk too much. We finna turn over, we finna go crazy. Told y'all I ain't been on here in eight months. So with that being said, I'm coming back the right way. You know what I'm saying? We doing a giveaway. Roll to 300K. So with that being said, I'm giving away $3,000. It's gonna be three winners. All you gotta do is subscribe to this channel and Katie 2 Live. And that's it, at 300K, I'ma do the giveaway. On the second channel, we just trying to get to 20K, but that's just, you know what I'm saying, these subscribers gonna go over there. I need 60 before I get 300K, so I should have 60,000 over there. So make sure y'all go subscribe. I was gonna do $100 a day for 30 days, but that's not big of a prize for whoever wins. So I'm gonna do three people and get y'all a thousand. You know what I'm saying, we finna knock the video out. We got man shoots that police didn't kill himself after allegedly approaching minors. I hate to bring content like this, but we just finna turn up. We just reacting. You know what I'm saying? The music I'm gonna get copyrighted and blocked, so I'm gonna end up not making videos. That's how I go every time around. I come on here say I'm finna go crazy, spam, drop five videos, and then don't drop. That's because YouTube be trying to block me and shit like that, but I ain't gonna let them folk play with us. We finna go crazy. Yeah, I gotta drop likes on these videos and shit though, because I'm popping in the music space, not in this space, so we gotta get these videos out there. You feel me? But anyway, let's not get out, bro. This is like my third time doing this intro. I'm not even gonna lie. My camera keeps stopping and it's running me hot. So before I let them kill my mode, let's do it. Y'all boys, let's get him in. Dang. Entertainment. We don't have too many reports to go off, but the conversation which will be played in just a moment. Hey, one more thing, one more thing, one thing. Last thing I'm gonna say. I'm starting a, uh, a university, right? Like a little, a little program, you know what I'm saying? A little school. I was influenced by Andrew Tate, but my shit gonna be a little different. AI taking over, bro. And if you listen to this video closely, this probably not even a real human talking. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna teach y'all how to make money, like automated, businesses, all that shit, like, you don't need college education to be able to build websites, do AI, make automated money, like, it's, it's super easy nowadays, so I'm gonna start a little, you know what I'm saying, but anyway, back to the video, look at this, I just press play, fuck nigga. Shows that Sebastian had allegedly been approaching females while drunk, the officer believes they weren't adults though, they were minors. Talking to minors is crazy. Yo, Atlanta police. Stop. Stop. Because you have an open container of alcohol. In public, you can't have an open container of alcohol. Give me your alcohol. Give me your ID. Your ID. I don't have it on me. Where's your ID? I left it at home. How old are you? Not 21. Okay. Right. I can have your. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it makes sense though. I'm gonna say why he's stuttering. Like, he might be a, like, but he drinking that while. Right. I can have you arrested right now. I should arrest you. How old are you? You're 19? Yes, sir. Right. Step over here. You ever been issued a Ford ID? Yes, sir. What do you do for work? I work at a warehouse. I spilled my coffee, you know me, no. I bet not get copyrighted for who knows what music this is in the background. You're not free to leave, okay? I'm not under arrest, am I? No, you're being detained. Does that mean cuffs? No. He's that like a my scene or some uh, shit. Social? I don't know your social security number, my boy. Ooh, what my this is? Having a little, you know what I'm saying? Got some little bad shit in the background. Trying to pick up anybody? No, sir. You got I mean, women, yeah. Just 
Do you, you think it's appropriate to walk up to a group of young girls and ask their ages right away? I was just trying to verify their age before I, you know, before I... I mean, I looked at them, you know, think they were, they were definitely minors. But I, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna vouch for it, bro, because it is some weirdos. But I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Homie look young, you know what I'm saying? Like, he don't got not a facial hair on his face. This nigga look like a little baby, so... You know, it could have been, it could have been a chance that he 19, he probably thought they was 18, 19, because these females, like, they age, they be looking different nowadays, bro. You may see a female that look 30, and she fuck around be 17 or 18. And you may see a female that look young as hell, and she may fuck around be, like, 22. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, sometimes you do got to ask. If he didn't ask, that would be the problem, but how old are y'all? I mean, it could go both ways, because he could be trying to scout and find young females, which is weird, but... It go both ways. Right. You don't look like a minor. Yeah. You got a sleeve of tattoos. Yeah. Oh, you do? Oh, I didn't even see the tattoo. It's my mistake. I was trying Lenny to verify their age before I approached them. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I was just trying to verify their age before I approached them. That's how you approach women nowadays? You just go to them and ask them how old they are? Straight yeah, up? Yeah, so I don't have to, you know, I don't yeah. have to be wrong here. You know? Oscar 356 on the cell type. 29 feet by number. He making it weird though, bro. 12 making it weird, bro, because that is that's normal, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm not vouching for this nigga because I don't know him, but that's normal, bro. It's no wrong with walking up to a female and be like, like, how old you with? You gonna say if she look young, then you would say how old you if she look young, you shouldn't even talk to her to be honest. But like I just told you, the ages be weird. So you can either walk up to him and be like, how old you with? You know what I'm saying? Then when they tell you, you be like, ah, never mind, like you, you young as hell. Niggas do that on here all day on the fucking monkey app. How old are you? And then skipping this, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same thing, bro. So if you ask a female to verify before you get engage in a conversation, you rather him walk up and hold the whole conversation just for her to say she's 16? Now, that's weird. You feel me? Like, I'm not even trying to get to know you if you're young. Like, how old are you? Now we can continue the conversation. That's normal. Y'all let me know am I wrong. I feel like that's normal. I'm say he killed himself though. That's crazy, bro. Damn, little bro. That boy took his life. No. You going to school or what? I'm trying to go to school. Are trying or you what? I'm I'm trying, man. You know it's not that that easy. What man? Yankee four five two Quebec Echo. I'm trying to read him and see what what was his like intentions, cause he don't give me. He, he giving me the buy. He thought it was cool. Like he thought he'd be looking cool or some shit. Approach women however you want. Yeah. Right. Children, that's weird, and that's when I got an issue with it. Okay. You understand that? Understand. Those were children. Yeah. I would have to see the little kids to see what they look like. Like they look super little, then he weird. But how does go from verbal warning to suicide, bro? I'm also giving you a warning for your possession of alcohol being under 21. How long is video in? 17? Where you parked at? Uh, I came here through Uber. Through Uber? Yes. 171 It's a kid, bro. He's a kid. He's 19, but he's still a little, a little kid. How are you going to get home? Uber, in fact. Where you live? I live in near the McCoy area on the east side. You know where that is? Uber 
friend. We were flying yesterday and he had left it in my house. Roman, this is 54, not appearing, valid ID card. Alright man, this is what I'm going to suggest. I'm going to suggest you leave them all, okay? Yeah, I'll leave that way we don't get any more issues about you, yeah. you don't get in any trouble, you're already intoxicated, you're out here, you're doing dumb things, approaching young women, Yeah. okay? Or young girls. That's the exit, right? There's an exit over there, there's an exit over here. Okay. So you choose. Okay. Yep. Sebastian seemed tense throughout the ordeal, but there's no evidence to suggest he had a criminal record and didn't yes. have any outstanding warrants. Maybe then he was just nervous as he was intoxicated by his own admission and had never had a prior encounter with police. Or was there something he was hiding? Why are you following him though, bro? Of course he's nervous. You following the man. He got to make sure you leave, but... I'll be on my way now. Hey Sebastian, before you go, you're free to leave and everything. You have anything on you that would, uh, drugs, guns, bombs, anything like that? No, sir. Okay. I'm I might have though. So you have some weed on you? No, not anymore. Okay. Man, no, how you gonna play cool and then let him go, bro, and then follow him like that, bro? You already let me go. I wouldn't have considered to the search. I'd be like, nah, I don't, I don't. Just to, you know what I'm saying, like, stop everything right here. I don't got nothing on me. I don't consent to the search. I'm just trying to go home, bro. I already gave that call. I'm just trying to roll. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you going to do that to the dude, bro? Search your person real quick. I don't think you can. I'm asking. No, no. What do you have inside your bag? Just some stuff that I need to get home. Okay. Do you mind showing me? No, I don't have to. Okay. Thank you, though. Nope. Next time I see you here. Okay. I, I, I see it. It's a jar, and it's got a little bit of weed in it. Okay. You think I I'm just dumb? finished it. Okay. Uh, with the, Is I that what's there. inside your bag? No. Yeah. That's it. Just the weed? Yeah. Okay. Take off your bag. Why would you don't tell that man, bro? You're going to make it a lot worse. How you going to say you don't consent, but then you going to tell him what's in there, dog? I always told him that's not that, bro. It's partially. I'll be cooking. Like, I wouldn't even tell him what it was. Me too. Take off your bag. Sir, please. Don't make this worse. Get, get out of here. Get out of here. After the officer asks, he shot at the nigga. He shot at the nigga. What happened? Get, get out of here. Get, get out of here. Ah, he tripping. Libra came off as like a little. Ah, he tripping, fool. You tripping? After the officer asks to check what's in his bag, Sebastian is hesitant to give in, and that's because, well, if you didn't guess by now, he had a firearm in his bag. That firearm was stolen, and although he ran from the scene, ah. initially it looks as if the officer doesn't give chase. Out of nowhere, though, Sebastian produces that stolen firearm and fires it towards the officer. He threw the officer life wouldn't away, return bro. fire because he said that he was concerned about the safety of the public. He didn't want to hit anyone. There were too many people around, so instead he decided to give chase. Bro, you just threw your life away, bro. You ran, which is rare. I ain't gonna lie, if your skin would have been any color black, your ass would have been get, you would have been shot. You know what I'm saying? But you just ran and he let you get away, fool. That nigga let you run. He wasn't even chasing you. And you turned around and did that. What? What? That's... Signal 43! Ah, Signal 43! Signal 43 is following Melania. White male, white Hispanic male running. He's going towards Melania Boulevard. He's got a gun. He's just shot at me. Boy said he didn't want to hit no bystanders. Hey. He's, running, he's going towards, he's going towards Millennia Convoy, Hotel Mike, white shirt, blue jeans, he got a black hand, uh, bag, he pulled out black signal zero. If your ass would have had an afro, they would hit you and the bystanders. He's in the Bay parking lot. No, no cap. I let it quit me, y'all. Let it be toting on everybody. Don't pay off when you gotta run. I lost that. Oh, man. Give the officer the channel. He just crossed Conroy right now. He's gotta be somewhere around here. I'm in the foot pursuit with him. 
Hotel Mike? Mike? What the fuck is that? He's got tattoos all on his right arm. Hotel Mike. Hispanic male. Ah, y'all think y'all slick. <laughs> Just broke that code on his ass. HM. He's a Hotel Mike. Hispanic male. Ah, I just got y'all there. Just broke y'all code. I'm smart as fuck. Where are you? I'm at Conroy and Water Garden. Conroy and Water Garden. Hey, he's shooting at us right now. He's at the Olive Garden. What the fuck is wrong with this nigga? He think this great thing. He think he's gonna respawn. That's what he think. He talking to us. He thought he was gonna respawn. Hey, he's by the Olive Garden. Sebastian had fled to the Olive Garden's Italian restaurant located across the road from the mall, and by now more units had been called to the scene. They arrived within moments. As the cruiser was approaching, Sebastian would open fire and a shootout would begin. Most of the time you don't see situations where niggas throw their life away, like what you do, but not like this. He threw his life away, bro. He acting like he could respawn. Oh, that's crazy. He's gotta be somewhere around here. Okay, so this is a, a different perspective. You can hit another uh, dude we were just watching on his. Walkie talkie, whatever they want to call it. Yo, where is he? Where is he? Where? What's he look like? What color is his shirt? White. White. He got tattoos all on his right arm. Hey, you see a guy running? Where are you? I'm at Conway Watergarden. Oh, oh, oh. I was gonna say, homie, you shot. I thought y'all shit was bulletproof. You shot through the front windshield, or that band go through. White. He got tattoos all on his right arm. He shot through the front window like that bitch ain't bulletproof. Hey, you see a guy running? Hell yeah, nah. Where are you? I'm at Conway Water I ain't looking for no man, bro. How many rounds he got on? He been shot hell of time. It's over, bro. Y'all ain't got five stars on you, bro. Well, you got four right now. Move up! Move up! Move up! He down? He got four stars on him. Gang, you did all of this. Damn. Hold on, homie. We all police. Don't get your ass beat out here now. I'll turn my shit up. You said what? Romero, turn your ass. Who? All right. 
Dispatch 99, I'm going to have to beat this nigga ass. Y'all pull up and get the man secured if I have to come beat dude ass over here. He think he bigger than somebody. Over. I done whooped your ass. What are you talking to, nigga? Hey, check my guy. Make sure you didn't hit nobody, guys. Check that way. Make sure. You... Hey, check the restaurant. The bullets went in the window, guys. You good, man? Come on. Back at the mall. Oh. Get in this, uh, get in this out. You all right? I'm good, man. Hey, Frank, you get another channel you for the shot. Shot too? I shot him. Okay. Put your, hey, your gun is still out? Yeah. Decock it. Decock. Hey, oh, shit. Right. You okay? Yeah. Hey, can we get tape? Start taping it off? Man, that's crazy, bro. I don't even need to see what else. What else happened? Let's go to the end. Yeah. We still need the 43. All right, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Little bro threw his life away, man. That was that was simple. 12 did bother him though. 12 did tell him I'm gonna give. I'm gonna let you out with a warning, and I'm gonna let you slide. Instead of walking so fast like that, he he definitely was nervous because he knew he had all that other stuff on him. But gang, why you over into the mall with all that on you, bro? He definitely give me weirdo vibes now, gang. You must have been trying to. You came here with with some alcohol, marijuana, and your Glock on you to the mall, my nigga. And you talk yeah, that one a little weird. I ain't gonna lie. Now, if you would have just had the Glock on you, that's normal. Like nigga, gotta you gotta be safe. You know what I'm saying? But when you got all that other shit on you. Showing you tripping. He's giving like trying to lower a female. He's giving P Diddy. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna lie, bro. He threw his life away, man. When he turned around and shot, you should have just ran, bro. Damn, man. Anyways, y'all drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Remember, I told y'all we doing a giveaway. 300k followers. 300k subscribers. I mean, three thousand dollars. Three people. Make sure y'all subscribe to this channel. KD2 Live. KD2 Live will be in a pinned comment. That's why I bring these type of videos, but I got to get y'all over there. So I'm posting them on here for now. But anyway, I got to bring what's some over there. So I got to start the video. Let's get it, man.